the word synesthesia has been around for oh, a century, a little bit more. It was introduced in the 1890s for people who would perhaps see colors when they heard music um, uh, on whom generally one sensation would give rise to another sensation. I think it's probably best illustrated with a, um, with a particular case. Now, I, um, I saw a, um, a gifted composer, Michael Torquay. He once said to his piano teacher when he was five or six years old, he said, I love that blue piece. And his piano teacher said, what do you mean that blue piece? He said, the piece in D major. It's D major, blue. And he, of course he has absolute pitch as well. And his piano teacher said that D major was not blue for him. And Michael said that 40 years later, the shock of this st uh, was still vivid for him. Because if you have a thing like synesthesia, if you see blue with D major, you imagine that everyone does. You imagine it's universal. You don't have the feeling that you have a special condition. So he was very shocked when he found that his music teacher did not have, who did have absolute pitch, but did not have synesthesia. And later he had another shock when he was about 14 or 15, when he was delighted to find uh, another young musician with synesthesia. He thought, good, you know, we, we'll be able to talk, we'll see things the same way. But the other chap with synesthesia said, no, um, he says uh, D major isn't, isn't blue, it's yellow. And, uh, and in fact, no two synesthetes will ever agree.